Hello, today is a nice sunny day. I thought I'd make a video for you. Um, and today, the exciting part is we're going to start uh, the practical steps on building your self-confidence. Um, we've had a basically good idea on what self-confidence is throughout my last four videos. Um, and today, actually from the last video, it was a little bit practical, but today we're going to be taking uh, steps in order to understanding how to start building your self-confidence. And the first step that we need to take is um, understanding your awareness and knowing how to deal with it and start taking practical steps on it. Um, remember when I gave you an example when you buy something new, let's say you bought new headphones and um, you go to your friend's house and for the first time you realize he has one as well. You walk around the street and you look at the stores and you realize they have the same headphones uh, uh, hanging in. Uh, you walk a little bit and you get into a studio and you notice that some dude is also wearing it. And suddenly a lot of people have it and you've never really realized. Uh, you see, the truth is these people have always had these headphones but it's been brought to your awareness uh, ever since you bought them. And that's the power of the awareness, the spot that we have in our brains. It's very powerful. If you know how to use it, it's the, one of the first vital steps to building your self-confidence. Uh, you know, a lot of people misinterpret people's gestures, words, and whatever they do as whatever they think they are. So, for example, let me explain what I'm saying here. If someone thinks that um, they're a boring person, so and, and they have it in their awareness, every time someone talks to them, every word they say, you know, if they look away, if they start scratching, they start interpreting every little thing that whatever this person is doing as, you know, seeing this person boring. So you better be careful with this awareness. Start what you have to do first is start realizing you know all the voices that you get in your head when you're talking to people what are these voices you know let's say you get a voice saying oh you're fat or another voice saying you really sound silly well oh, you know start collecting all the voices popping up in your head blah, 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 and start writing them down and start realizing what you've been you know blurring your awareness with come on you know start taking steps with that and stop these messages you know that are popping in your head every time they're not true 90 percent or let me tell you according to statistics as human beings we've been wired to think negatively 80 percent of the time and that's you know to protect us from a lot of danger but now that we live in rural in the rural life we don't really need all this negative thinking anymore so we better control it in order to live a healthier life uh, so what I want you to do is start listening to these voices you know make an imaginary conversation in your head and start listening to yourself or actually start collecting all the uh, voices while you're talking to people today and come back home and write down all the voices that you got be it boring be it look looking bad being whatever and start realizing that from now on you're not going to put these things into your awareness because most of the time it's not true and what really happens is once you get once you take this impression and you form it inside your head and put it in your awareness it becomes true because you believe it right and if you believe it the person in front of you believes it believes it and it, you know it becomes a cycle you know you believe it they believe it and come on that's not true so what you have to do is put into your awareness the opposite all right so if you think you're a boring person just for one day all right i'm not telling you to do that forever if you don't want to hey it's your life but for one day, I want you to put the opposite. So if you think that you're a boring person, decide that I'm going to go down today, um, the next day, thinking that I'm an interesting person. And watch the difference. And I want you to believe, hey, come on. <laughs> I don't want you to, say, to tell yourself, I'm an interesting person. And start listening to your voices again. No, just practice. Practice. For, you know, start with one thing at a time. And practice 
that um, that you, you practice that you think that you're an interesting person and see what a big difference that makes. So you start taking a decision that you're going to believe that you're an interesting person uh, the next day. Now when the next day comes in and you start believing that you're an interesting person, start reinforcing that thought as you talk with a person. I'm an interesting person. And as you enforce that thought and believe it, watch how your brain helps you in making that come true. And by a little bit of practice, people, you know, have this false belief that confidence takes a long time to build, but trust me, this is a, one of the myths surrounding self-confidence. Because when your brain sees you succeed, you know, they say fake it until you make it, absolutely true. Your brain sees you do, doing it, it's going to believe you and it's going to, you know, give you these results every time. So you start believing let's say in our example that you're an interesting person and you start <coughs> reinforcing that thought over and over as you act that day and start acting it and see what a big difference that makes in your life so i know a lot of things um, um ha take more th things along with it like for example looks if you think <coughs> uh you you need to improve the way you look like i uh, like i told you in my second video there are um, changeable factors and unchangeable factors and luckily people perceive us as attractive according to our uh, changeable factors so you need to work with that as well in order to help you with the reinforcement of thoughts when it comes to um, giving a better lecture if you have a presentation to make prepare yourself very well right write down what you need to be saying in order present it practice and that's just going to reinforce the thought in your head that you're going to do it well. And you go there and you start acting <coughs> and believing that you're going to do well and watch wonders how you're going to do. And you know that, that I've been coaching a lot of people around the world for a couple of years now and it worked every time. So I'm waiting for your feedback and thank you very much by the way for the messages you send me i keep saying that every in every video but they really affect me so thank you very much for your comments and your messages and your support i too am making this video uh, to help make a change and to make people stronger so um i always love to hear from you and um see you next time